advised. All right, people. The forces of evil have come against us beyond space and time to devour this world. And I say, we're not going to let them. I got the drunk and the school teacher and myself, the psychiatrist, here to stop these gods. And we, what? Why is, why is there a cat here? A cat! Good sir! This is the Duchess of Abernathy! You will treat her with respect! You Look, you frightened playing. her! How dare you! Okay, alright, well, glad to have her on, on the team. Well, uh, I say, let's get started! Hey everyone, welcome back to Fat Nest Nerd run and we are doing another series. How many series are we doing? Too many. Too many. Too we are many, doing a lot. Many. Well, we got, we got this one now. Uh, I'm in uh, uh, Charterstone with Cat, and then Massive Dark. Oh, okay, that's only three. Mm -hmm. So that's not that bad. Mm -hmm. I'm in a lot. You're just in one, two now. Two. Um, oh no. <laughs> what have I done? Man, the series we do are. Pretty fun. I like a developing story, character building, level up, that whole good stuff. But we're doing Arkham Horror the card game because this game's a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to do the Knight of the Zealot Why as much as that? Well, it's, it's, I, I, I think you'll like it. Fair and balanced reviews. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I have no opinion. No. Tell my wife I said hello. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's that. Let's go ahead and get started. Knight mm -hmm. of the Zealot. Zealot of the Knight. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Ghoul's Hunger. Friday, September 18th, 1925. Arkham, Massachusetts. It is the end of a long and abnormally hot summer. The first hints of autumn beckon, but a heavy heat persists. Relentless. A silent, unspoken anger grips the town. Tempers are short, and in the last week alone there have been numerous reports of townspeople coming to heated, violent blows with one another over simple misunderstandings, like whether or not Trump is a good president. <laughs> and now, a call from James Hankerson. He claims to have found a dismembered body in his barn. Blaming found the... it. <laughs> he, like, cut him off. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Blaming the weather would be too easy. There's something wrong with this town, and not a whole lot this old soothsayer could do to stop the slide. My auguries indicate a small group of investigators will soon take note of these strange happenings and set forth to make things right. I'll be their progress. I'll be watching their progress, but I won't be holding my breath. All right. So, campaign law. That's not what I needed to read. Uh, part one, the gathering. You and your partners have been investigating strange events taking place in your home city of Arkham, Massachusetts. Over the past few weeks, several townspeople have mysteriously gone missing Recently, their corpses turned up in the woods, savaged and half-eaten. The police and newspapers have stated that wild animals are responsible, but you believe there's something else going on. You are gathered together at the lead investigator's home to, to discuss these bizarre events. Uh, agenda 1. It is late at night. You are holed up in your study, researching the bloody disappearances that have been taking place in the region. A few hours into your research, you hear the sound of strange chanting coming from your parlor down the hall. At the same time, you hear dirt turning, as if something were digging beneath the floor. Son of a bitch. This is my house! Act 1. As you leap to investigate, uh, the door to your study vanishes before your eyes, leaving behind only solid wall. You're trapped inside your study until you can find another way out. What is this? Alright. I'm sure it's no surprise by now, if you're a fan of the channel, that I love Lovecraftian lore. Like... Almost anything about it is just is fantastic to me, and I mean, it's I, I don't know what it is either. Like I I love the setting. I just love the mystery behind it, the horror behind it, the the realism of it. Kind of. I mean, obviously it's gods coming through time and space, but like how you're not superheroes fighting those gods. You're a, you're a detective or you're you're some cook, and you're just like oh. Fuck, I guess I'm the only one that, that I can that can help and, and save this world, but uh, you can very real like realistically die and I don't know, there's just something about it that it, it just speaks to me. Alright, so we're in the study. You're in the study. What so are all the tokens. Those are the clue tokens that we need to get to uh, So I need to investigate. 
Mm -hmm. So do we do we take how do we so like you do all your turn, then I do all my turn? Correct. Or? Yeah, yeah. So um, here we go. That's what we get. Did. Three actions. Three actions. Three. Count them. Three. One, two, three. One. Yep. That's how. That's there's how there's numbers. <laughs> Pay attention. They're going <laughs> right. places. I got it. Things <laughs> things are happening. Three. Yes. Three. It's moving fast. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hate you. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, so we need to figure out something. What's short for is that short for a name? Rex. Uh, I I don't know actually. Rex. It's just Rex. It might just be Rex. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I am playing Roland Banks. Roland had always what? What? It's a, what is always my, my character's name? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, just had, I just had a vision of like someone like rolling in money. It's <laughs> Roland and Banks. <laughs> Roland! Well, I'm, uh, I'm the Fed, so... Roland had always taken comfort in procedure and rules. As an agent in the Bureau, he was relieved to have guidelines to follow in any given situation. But lately, his, federal's, his federal agent's handbook had been entirely unhelpful given the cases he'd been assigned. Try as he might, Roland could find no mention of what to do when confronted with strange creatures, gates through time and space, or magic spells. If he, had, if he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he would never have believed it, and there's no way his superiors would understand. Roland knew he would have to, he would have to handle this one himself. He should build a wall. If he doesn't know what to do, build a wall. <laughs> <coughs> That's the plan. Okay, I am Rex Murphy, the reporter. When disaster strikes, Rex Murphy is usually on hand, suffering the consequences. After spending a day with Rex, even the most hardened skeptic will concede that the man is cursed. Any time he had a lead on a good story, something would go wrong. That business in Innsmouth with the photographs that had blown out to sea, the tracks in Dunwich that had washed away in the rain just before he brought the sheriff. His terrible fortune has more than once exposed him to gruesome beasts and occult conspiracies. To survive, Rex has developed an inquisitive mind, keeping one step ahead of the next disaster. Sexy. Mm. Okay. I just fell in love with his mustache and had to have that. So. <laughs> well, that's all it takes sometimes. Yeah, just the mustache. Okay, well, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Alright, uh, sure, I'll go first. Alright. So, what do I say? I'm in, so I need to do an investigation. So, action. we need. Uh, we need uh, clues. We need all those clues. Easy. So, to do an investigate, what do I roll? Is that in the knowledge check? Correct, it's intel. So, you take your base four. Um, and you need to at least get, to get a clue, you need to have, you need to get a... a two. A, a two or higher. Two or higher. Yes. Right, so yeah, start with four, but then there's modifiers. So yes, every right. single skill you have to draw uh, a token. what does this do? Uh, you see it instead of discovering a clue, discover a clue to the next location. Um, and then you can always hold on. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Now if I get that, I get plus one for each clue at my location. Everything by the book. Every I dotted, every T crossed. Mm. It had worked until now. That's what Roland says. Before every case. So, like, so these, like, cards that say I can move to a different location. No locations. We're stuck in the study. So that's all we've got. Yep. Gotcha. So we yep. It still. even says the door to your study has vanished. <laughs> so, by the way, everyone, uh, you can keep thinking. Uh, the, all these cards are sleeved. And I've never had luck with card games uh, on on the top down cam, so the glare is there. But it's more about the story, not really about card play. So hopefully we're entertaining enough. Hopefully, me entertaining. I found that the way that I record, so you know, obviously the static cam aiming at us, so you see us, and then the board cam, it, it makes card games very difficult to actually record and do run throughs for. Um, for many reasons. One, it's that they're not that flashy and interesting, so, like, the board is boring to look at for the most part. And two, like, most of the time there's a glare, or you have to you have a specific area you have to actually play, and then there's you don't see the abilities on the card. So, it's, that's why you're, right now you're seeing us as the main focal point, whereas the, the actual game is smaller, because you're kind of relying on the players to be interesting. So, just thought I'd explain that because card games kind of tend to suck in 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 most run throughs. Of course. Well, we may just do some sexy uh, stuff on the table. I'm gonna do. This seems neat. Opportunist. I play. Okay. okay. Only to a skill test you are performing. So I'm doing an investigate. Okay. So I get to add one intel. 
Um, if I succeed by three or more, I get to keep the opportunist card. Oh, that's nice. So there you go. So we're at five right now. So as long as I don't get the minus four or the insta <laughs> fail, I'll be okay. <laughs> you somehow draw both. Right. It's a double sided. So, so, so just one. Just one. Yep. Okay. So the cultist is mm -hmm. minus one. Uh, if you fail, take one horror. Okay. But you did not fail. So with so line five, so it puts it down to a four. And you so beat, you beat it by two. So that means after I succeed at a skill test by two or more while investigating, I just get uh, discover one clue. And nice. With my ability, so. Oh, so your ability, so you get two clues. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Well, that works. And Does you get to go keep, right back. That will go right back in there. Do you get to keep the opportunist, or you get to beat it by three or more, right? Oh yeah, I only did beat it, so I do lose it. Oh well. Well, that was still that was still pretty good. Okay, so that was only one action, dude. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess I will. Oh wait, no, you played. Did you play that card, and then you and then you? Yes. Okay, so you have one action left. Okay. So I guess I'll just investigate again. Um. Yeah, that's too late. Totally works for me. Sure, let's do it. Investigating, here it comes with my base skill four, as long as I don't draw that minus four <laughs> or that insta fail. Well, actually, minus three is still pretty good with the game. So that's widened my range of failure. Zero! Awesome. Nice. So I beat it by two again. I get two more clues. Well, I'm glad we have you until we start to fight and you're like, ah! <laughs> my mustache! <laughs> Save me! I'm just like, where the fuck did you go? <laughs> so you can spend all those four to get us out of there. Is that like an action? It's not an action. So we're just nope. bloop. Nope. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's get out. Scoot! So I just put them over here then? Yeah, put them, you can put them in there. Okay. Um, the door, you notice that the edges of your newly purchased rug are tattered and mud-stained. Finding this odd, you shift the furniture aside and pull back the rug. To your surprise, you see the door leading out of your study. You slowly turn the knob and the door swings open, revealing your hallway below. You jump through the doorway, landing on your feet on soft dirt. The door to your study slams shut above you. The smell of burning wood fills the narrow hall, intermingled with the scent of rot and decay. Put into play the set aside hallway, cellar, attic, and parlor. So, I didn't even... So, we'll just kind of be sexy about it. Like that. So are they all like adjacent, uh, or...? So here's how it works. Um, discard each enemy in the study. There was no enemy in the study. Place each investigator in the hallway. So now we are up here. Um, and then uh, remove the study from the game. Okay. So here's how... Oh, I forgot my brandy. <laughs> so here's how moving works uh, between these areas. So these indicate what is what they're connected to. And this is a symbol. So this is connected uh -huh. to all of these. This, the attic is only connected to the hallway. These are all connected to the hallway. Gotcha. So you gotta. Okay. Let's actually first. just get these in a centralized location, so we can kind of do this. Yeah. So to get to all three of these, we would have to go back and forth from the hallway. Gotcha. Uh, a moment of panic and disorientation strikes as you land upon the floor of the hallway. The world spins as if turned on its head. Okay, the walls of your house are splattered with mud, and your hardwood floor is gone, replaced with a dirt path. Those sons of bitches! <laughs> this is my house! My hardwood floors! <laughs> you know how much those cost? I'm not gonna burn down my house. So what? It's become a demon-infested hell mess. Excuse me, I still... I, I, I just made the down payment on the thing. Okay. So... They better not have touched my granite countertops. All right. I don't even remember. Um, okay. Um, a glowing barrier blocks the path to your parlor. As you move toward it, intense heat forces you to back away. Picking up a handful of dirt, you toss it at the barrier and watch it in horror as the dirt incinerates. Perhaps there's something in the cellar or attic that can help. Objective. When the round ends, investigators in the hallway may, as a group, spend the requisite number of clues to advance. So we need six clues. Six clues. Six sexy-ass clues. Okay. Okay. So, my turn, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, and, um, hmm, hmm. How many talents can we hold? 
character classes, those are skills. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and spend two resources to get hyper awareness, which uh, as like a tap, this is like a <laughs> zoing ability. <laughs> I'm so aware. I can spend one resources, I can get plus one uh, intellect for the skill test, or I can do it, I can spend a resource to get one boot. Alright, um, for free, I'm going to use my emergency cash to get three resources. And then, well, shit balls. I could move. Do we want to split up and go, you know, attic and then, like, I go to the attic and you go to the cellar? Um, or but I'm pretty good at getting away if things go hairy. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, we can go ahead and split up. Sexy. Let's go ahead and do that then. We've got a lot of escape cards. Okay. Um, I'm going to go into the attic. Move straight up to the attic. All right. Forced, after you enter the attic, take one horror. Damn it. That's, that's, that's what I don't want to do. <laughs> the bloody carcass of a malformed beast swings from a meat hook chain to a ceiling. Blood drains slowly from the carcass, dripping into a small barrel. And then... Um, because I ain't got all night. Okay, so there's four clues up here. One, two, three, four. I can't remember what the red ones mean. Chaos. <coughs> or doom. Doom tokens. Doom. Oh, that's, that is correct. So that was my turn. Um, and then we go enemy phase. Enemies with the hunt. Hunter keyword. Move towards nearest investigator. We don't have any enemies right now. So how do they spawn? Yeah, you're about to find out. Um, upkeep phase, reset actions. If we don't have any, each investigator draws one card and gains a resource. Yeah. I got a bunch of resources. Just one? Oops. Just one. Okay. And then we have a hand size of eight. I'm sure none of us. Now we have the mythos phase. Place one doom on the agenda. That's what it was. That's what that number means. Okay. What number? That number three. I think that's the doom limit. Um, agenda! So if we reach that before we get the clues, then it's lay done so? Uh, the uh, number doom is in play. Uh, doom on the agenda card as well as doom, as indicated by the agenda card. Um, a thing that you have to understand with LCGs is that uh, they have a lot of little rules, a lot of keywords, a lot of, if this card is played in timing of this card, then this will happen, and then you have to, you know, get the 15th rule book and then, like, turn it upside down and origami fold it to figure out how to actually apply this rule. So, it, mistakes happen, and, and it's my job to not, as, not do as much of, of those as possible, but, it, I mean, little, little rules with these kind of games. Yes. That's what that is. So every mythos phase, a doom will get placed, and then once that's, then the agenda deck will will advance. If we reach three. Yeah. Okay. Advance. Is that like a bad bad thing? Like... It's it's just a way for, to keep the story going. Um, so if we take too long gathering clues, then it's going to advance anyway. Yes. But it's going to be in a bad way. Right. Okay. Uh, each investigator draws one card from the top of the encounter deck. This is where shit happens. So. We each draw one. Yep. Ravenous ghoul. It's going to go... Yeah, so you'll draw one, too. There you are. Mm. Uh, Ravenous School is going to go right there. Okay, and I got okay. Rotting Remains. Is it a treachery? Okay. Revelation Test Will 3. For each point you fail by, take one horror. I am right at three. So... Oh, wait, have to test, right? So... Its ability is resolved and it's placed in the encounter discard pile. Engaged with the... Unless it has a spawn instruction, so... Yep, Ravenous Ghoul is right up on my ass. So he immediately engaged with you? <laughs> yeah, he just comes up on me, okay. which is fine. Which is fine, is so... You, you already took a horror, or is that what happened? Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me. Thanks for reminding me! You're welcome. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Uh, yeah, do your skill test. Okay, so... So, I need a... Zero. <laughs> Good thing I stacked the deck with yeah. zeros. <gasps> Ugh. It's just... 
Plus one. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah. Beat it. All right. Well, that works. What would have happened if you failed? Uh, horror. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, now it's our turn. Okay. I need to kill this So, guy. let's see here. So, move, move to a connected location is one of the actions. I don't know, there's a bunch of clues there and it's only a one. I could, like, eat up all those clues easy. Where at? There. That is true. So, I might just... What, what does that say? The attic. Mm -hmm. uh, after you, oh, but you're gonna take a horror. Oh, just by going in there. Yep. After you enter the attic. No. <clears throat> so I mean, I I can I can. What was the bad place that was hot? The the parlor. Mm -hmm. the, we're, yeah, we're scared so of the parlor. Yeah, the entrance to the parlor is blocked by a dark, darkly glowing, unfathomable barrier. You cannot move into the parlor. Okay. Then I guess I'll go into the cellar. <clears throat> All right. One action. The stairs leading down to your cellar are slick, and they glisten with a thin layer of ice. Uh, forced, after you enter the cellar, take one damage. Oh. Your cellar seems to have been replaced with an underground network of icy tunnels and caverns. The cold chills you to the core. So, damage. Oh, it's a four check. Oh, it is. And there's, uh... Eh. There are four clues there. Okay. <clears throat> but we'll get victory points for going there. For going there? Yeah. Um, okay, so Ravenous Ghoul. He is... He has three health. He does three damage. And... Uh, God. The side of the thing raised the question. Do we eat to live or do we live to eat? Um, and it's a three check trying to get away. I can I can kill him, but I need to disengage. Ugh. Okay, that's a lot. But okay. So I'm gonna need to try and evade. So because okay. basically is he going now or no no no? But I he's engaged with me, so I can't do anything other than fight him. Okay. And I could try to fight him, because my, my strength is four, mm -hmm. um, and I only have one thing that would boost it up, but that's also just some sweet medical text that I keep on me at all times. Okay. But I could try to uh, evade. Um, well, I think I'm going to play my perception. Oh, you're, so you're going first? What? I mean, didn't I just move? I haven't done anything. Oh, yeah, you did move. move. That's right. Okay. That's all I've done so far. Yeah, I forgot you moved. So, action to play a card. Yep. Perception max one committed per skill test. If this test is successful, draw one card. So it gives me two um, intel. So now I'm going in at six for an investigation. Okay. And then the final action would be to investigate, so. Mm hmm. So to boost, I take the whole. Yeah, so. Let's hope you keep drawing really well. I need to get a new bag. So what is that? Ghoul locate ghouls in the X area. X is the number of ghoul enemies at your location, so none. So I beat it by two. Nice. Get two. Yeah. Sexy. Yeah, I can say I identify a lot with old oh, Rex Murphy. Bad luck, um, runs away from danger, but good insight as to the situation at hand. <clears throat> okay. What was your ability or that card? Hmm? That card that you just oh played? perception. Yeah. It's a skill. So do I, how long does it last? Just one? Oh, like, if it's successful, I draw a card. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, magnifying glass. Okay. Well, so you, yeah, so you're th you moved, you play the card, and then you, you investigated. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Uh, so investigate your location. That's pretty good. Um... That's a test that... Okay. Well... Okay. So, I'm gonna try and fight it. But I don't want to. Because... Use your sexy-ass fed skills on its face. Well, if I defeat him, I discover one clue in my location. Mm -hmm. That's just an ability. You don't want to take no damage. So he's one and one. You take both. 
one, he'd lose one hit point, one sanity. If he, hit, if, yeah, if he attacks me back. Um, basically, I also, luckily as a fed, I keep some explosives on me mm -hmm. that I could, you know, lob into the, into the attic. Goosh. <laughs> huh, the attic's still intact. Um, but I would have to evade to do that, otherwise I'm taking a shit ton of damage. And evade's an agility check? It is. Um, which is two, but oh, I can right. use my hyper awareness to make it three, which it's that's three, and I can play a card to make it four. Roland Banks is a uh, a man that's completely troubled by by his past and what he's had to do to get where he's at. He's at the top level of the federal agency, and how he he's just he's just murdered a bunch of people, and he's had to cover up all of that with you know legal proceedings and and just you know dragging it to like some back shed and burying them and and covering all that up and be hey i solved the case it's like well where's the guy oh uh, he he's gone and that's kind of really the limit of of roland big not a lot to him and i've actually played him before i've done the same scenario with roland and he's 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 my kind of guy okay so if i just attack and fail nothing nothing bad happens i just waste an attack <laughs> All right, what's the worst that can happen? Right. So you playing it hard, or are you just going with the raw? I'm just going raw. raw I'm a too. raw dog, it, man. I'm a raw what's, dog. What, what do you need, a three? Yeah. Hey, zero! Yeah, bitch! Hey. Take that damage. Take that damage. Ouch. Okay, let's put that back in here. I'm going to attack it again. If I get the, the Elder Sign, it's plus one for each clue at my location, cool. which I'm going to get it right here. Mm. I got minus one, but that's still three, so I still hit him. Yeah, I may kill this mother. Did you have, do you have to pay resources to use that ability? I'm not using this ability. Oh. I my my combat's four. Oh, awesome. Alright. Oh, come on, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Minus one. Yeah. So he is dead. Yeah, you killed him. You stabbed it. I did kill you him. You used your fed fists. I have a gun. This is liberty and justice. <laughs> <sighs> so it's dead now. After you defeat an enemy, discover one clue at your location. See, I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping. Um, okay, so enemy phase. You just have to rend your clues from the enemy's corpse. <laughs> yeah. I found a clue! <laughs> <laughs> just like, take a bite of its heart. Mm. Mm, tasty, this is obviously what's happening around. Uh, there are no enemies around, and they don't, no one's attacking. So, reset actions, ready all exhausted cards, we draw one card. Woo! Magnifying glass! I probably should and then we get a resource. Woo! Woo! No, just you wait. You're gonna get it. Woo! You're gonna get it when I drink. Woo! Okay. Alright, <coughs> now we got a doom. We got a doom on the, on the thing. All right, you gotta, and then we, we gotta draw one. Do you want to draw the top one, or you want me? Sure, I'll take Yeah, you take the top one. I'll take the top one. Is it a minster? Is it a minster? Oh, fuck. Tr uh. Crypt chill. Treachery. Mm -hmm. Test will four. Um, if you fail, choose and discard one asset you control. If you cannot take two. I don't, oh, I do. My hyper-awareness is... So, me. does this last for the whole round? Like no, whole it's, round, a, no so it's only whenever you have so it. So, there's no way to prepare for these? Well, hold on. Let me see these. Let me see your cards. Um, max one committed, this is, uh, so, commit only to a skill test that you are performing, if you are succeeded, so that was a one-time use, uh, that was a one-time use, so there are going to be things like, um, talents, or, uh, eh. Test your location, limit one per location, test location gets plus two shroud, after test location is successfully investigated, it describes during fog. So it's plus two shroud. Is that like now it's a skill check of six or something? Yes. Gross. Can you get rid of that? Nope. Oh, it is if you successfully investigate it. Yeah. But now it's a skill check of six. Yeah. Oh, God, sorry, I booted it again. Well, if you can get one more, we can just meet up in the parlor. Uh, we need six, dude. Oh, six, fuck. <laughs> We For some reason I was like four. All right, well I got Crip Chill, so I'm gonna play uh, Guts uh, for the two. So now my will is five. Um, 
Uh, well, let's see. Five and zero! Yeah! Fuck yeah! So I succeeded. So I basically don't get crypt chill. Cool. In the Arctic. Well, that worked out. Except for the fucking obscuring fog. Okay. Well, um... Hey, let's just, let's just have me go first. Let's go ahead and play magnifying glass. Spend one resource. I threw that in the wrong spot. Ooh, I got an idea. I got, I got. Okay. So now I get plus one while investigating. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to investigate. Okay. So let's just see what happens. Um, I think so. My event. My so now I'm at a four. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Um, minus one, so three, oh, it's a one. Mm -hmm. I'd have to fucking suck. You have to draw the ends to fail. Yeah. And you die. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'll investigate again. Once again, I'm out of four. Um, and, uh, oh, minus two, if there's a ghoul enemy in your location, take one damage. There is not, and it's still a one, so... Man, gee, things are just swallowing the attic. Mm. What? what? You just randomly get fog right. in a cellar. A frozen cellar, mind you. Mm. Well, it's now a series of tunnels. I got something that I think that'll work. Okay. Um, so, so um, I got three. You got. We just need one more, man. Yeah, so we're... Um, do we both have to be in the hallway to spend them? No, we can actually spend them at any time. So I oh. could actually spend these three and put them over near. Okay. Near there. Okie dokie. So here's what I'll do. Um, so it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. So you went first, and so do we like alternate who goes first? Is that what we're doing, or it, we don't have to choose? Okay. It can go anytime. Okay. So do move action to the hallway. Okay. And then I can use by spending. Can use seeking answers. And that means I have to spend a resource. Yep. Okay. And uh, it gives me, I guess, bonus agility and bonus intel. Uh, investigate. No, you only get those whenever you play them during a skill. Okay. So you don't get both whenever you play it. Okay. All right. Well, investigate. If I succeed, instead of discovering a clue at your location, discover a clue at a connecting location. So I guess oh, I'm going to investigate the hallway, but I, I'll just collect you'll find it from it in either the, the cellar or the... Do the attic, because you'll still have to get a six. Right. So you, can, you just need a one there. Well, I mean, this is just investigate my current location, but I can pull it from another location. Oh. So yeah, it's just, if you succeed, if you succeed, instead of discovering clue at your location, discover clue at your connecting, connecting location. Oh. Well, yeah, that works. So that way I could potentially get my two. Yeah. Just to hold on to one. Yeah. So, yeah, that works. Do this. So that was a move, play, and now I'm going to investigate the hallway with my Seeking Answers ability. Insta-fail. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's a four and it's a one. I mean, it'd have to be pretty bad for me to fail. Yeah, it would. Minus one. You're good. So that puts it at a... So I'm at a four. Puts me at a three. Still beat it by two. And I get my clue at an additional location. Nice. Is that your innate ability? If you beat it by two, you get an The little, one. little arrow swappy? Yeah. yeah, it says, Sweet. if you succeed at a skill test by two or more while investigating, discover one clue at your location. Oh, at my location. So... I'd have to be there, I guess. It says at my location. But your card allows you to take it from... To discover a clue at your location, discover a clue at a connected location, so... Um... <clears throat> what are these? Okay, innates and... Okay, yeah, so those are... So, and then I guess I'll spin these towards the thing. If All you right. spin yours, I'll yep. spin my three. So that's gonna be six. The six that we needed. Okay. Um... When the round ends, investigators in the hallway may... Oh, we both do have to be at the hallway. Oh. I apologize. I forgot that that was needed for... Here are your three. Eh. So you're at the hallway, and we must spend as a group, so... Because that's what leads to the okay. parlor. Well, then I'm, I'll spend my four, I guess. Well, we need... I, we both need to be at the hallway. Okay. And we need to spend them together. So... No enemies... So does it have to be over three, or is it at three, you think? At three, it'll advance. Aw. Can you get there, Diane? Well... No, I already went. Oh. So, no. Um, Radio Exhausted, we draw a card. And yeah! 
You can get a resource. I have a bunch of, I have a shit ton of resources. Okay, so now we got the Doom. The Doom! Um, if Doom Threshold is satisfied, which it is. So, uh, your house continues to change before your very eyes. The walls have decayed and the ground in many rooms has turned to, has turned to dirt. It is almost as if you have been transported somewhere else entirely. Although every now and again you recognize elements of your former home. The lead investigator, which I guess would be you, okay. because you went first, must decide. Either each investigator dis one's, discards one card at random from his or her hand, or the lead investigator takes two horror. Mm. Um, and I have a lot of good cards, but I would understand if you... I have fighting cards. Yeah. So um, I mine are all pretty meh. Um, and they're but random. I've also got plenty of plenty of horror threshold. Okay. Plenty of sanity. So um, see. we'll just take the horror. Okay. There you go. All right. So, Agenda Two: Rise of the Ghouls. The floor beneath you is giving way, and you see a vast network of tunnels twisting into the darkness below. Shapes and silhouettes of strange creatures move swiftly through the tunnels, trying to find a way up. You probably don't want to be here when they do. Seven is when the doom happens. Okay. So now, we still have to spend the six to get through here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's still the act. The agenda is just what's ah. kind of the overall story. Act yeah, is like yeah. what's happening within the story. Um, all right, I'll draw the top one this time. All right, it's a ghoul minion. That's not too bad. I can easily kill that. Okay. Ancient evils. Omen. Revelation. Place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Demons burrowing through the house. All but a day in the life of Rex Murphy. That's all it is. Doom. Fuck. Damn it. Well, we still only need six. All right. Do we want me to go first so I can move down there? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's move on down here. Hey, buddy. Hello. All right, now we can spend ours total of six to... Using the barrel from the attic, and uh, you carry ice and snow from the cellar and hurl it at the barrier. The barrier sparks and shudders as it consumes the ice, then hisses and fades out of existence. The barrier blocking passage into the parlor has vanished. Reveal the parlor. Um, put, aside, put the set-aside Lita Shantler into play at the parlor. Spawn the set-aside ghoul priest in the hallway. Oh no! So at the hallway, and she's right there. So... The parlor. Um, okay. Yeah, it says reveal the parlor. So we did do that. Okay, so that was that. Now we got... What have you done? A woman with a torch stands in, in your parlor, a glimmer of hatred in her eyes. What have you done to my barrier? She screams, furious. Before you can answer, a ghastly wail sounds behind you, and a creature wearing robes and a deer skull mask tears through the wall, advancing towards you. Uh, if the ghoul priest is defeated, advance. So we have to kill the ghoul priest. When you control, leave the chant. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so. Humanoid monster ghoul elite. Hunter with retaliate. <laughs> so we can go to the parlor and resign. This is too much for me. You run out of the front door fleeing in panic. Or, when Lita Chandler is not controlled by a player, she gains parlay, and you can test intellect of four. If you succeed, you take control of her. <clears throat> Basically, when you control her, she gains uh, each investigator at your location gets plus one fight. And an automatic, when you investigate at your location successfully attacks a monster enemy, that investigator deals plus one damage. Mm, so we so should get her on our side. So we want to move in there and parlay with her. Yep, so that monster's not engaged with anyone right now. Okay. Um, so, oh, but I'm engaged by this ghoul minion. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, it shouldn't be too hard to kill it. So that my, I moved down, we hand me the bag. Thank you. Let's try and fight this ghoul minion real quick. And I'm good. Yep, meets it, beats it. So I'm going to play Vicious Blow. Um, if this skill test is successful during an attack, that attack deals plus one damage, so it's dead. 
the Delta One from succeeding. And what was the attack called? Vicious Blow. Vicious Blow. Like, yeah, that's what the picture looks like. It's a heavy axe. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to move to the parlor. You get clues for killing things? I would if there was one there. Mm. Yeah, so there, there's not one there. Okay. So... My go? It is your go. So it doesn't engage with anybody yet? Not until it's enemy phase? Prey, highest strength. So it will come after me. Mm -hmm. And it has Hunter and Retaliate. Um, hunter, each Hunter enemy moves one location towards the nearest investigator at the beginning of the enemy phase. If an investigator fails a skill test while attacking an enemy that has the re Retaliate keyword, the enemy performs its attack against the investigator. Mm -hmm. And that does two damage and two sanity. Gross. That is gross. Okay, let's do... Get her on your side! Don't be mad at us. Your barrier was in our way, and you fucked up my house. Okay. What do you got? Mm -hmm. I hope this is working for everyone. Okay. Well, I'll do... I'll move up here, too. Okay. Um... And let's try... You decide what to do. I'm going to make sure that we can... Um... Oh, it will actually go straight to a... Uh... <clears throat> um... Yeah, what a tone accent. So I, I, could, can... I couldn't move there. That that is gonna come right after me. Okay. Oh, so he comes in immediately and gains yep. with you. Highest uh, highest strength, which is me. Mm. So instead of my move, I could attack it. Mm -hmm. And it has ten health. Ten health. Mm -hmm. Yicky yicky. Can you like bail and throw dynamite? <laughs> It'll hit you. As well. Like, does it not wait a turn before it activates? No. <laughs> it's dynamite. It's got a fuse. <laughs> it has a short fuse. It has, like, those paper fuses. That does black... Just kills everyone in the room. <laughs> Whoops. The firecracker was shrapnel. Uh, it, yeah, fuck. Um. And so if it's engaged with someone else, and, you tr and if I were to try and attack it and fail, it, it would fail, hit you. me, yeah. That's so nasty. Yeah. So... Here, I, um, I, um, so they, like, like, say if it were to somehow disengage from you, um, then I'd be able to move. Well, so, like, what's his agility check if you were to try and evade? Is it four? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and you've got an I have two. Ability. Um, yeah. I should have a means for you to escape. Okay. Um, I could probably help you out if, you know, things get hairy. Okay. Um, then I'm, I'm just gonna not, I'm not gonna do anything. Not even attack? I can try. So, like, your attack just does one damage? Mm-hmm. Oh, gross. Yeah. He's 10 health? Yeah. Yeah, 5 health per investigator. Mm -hmm. Combat is difficult in this game, just like it is in every other, you know, Arkham game. Like, Elder Torah combat's still pretty difficult. In, in you know, Arkham Horror, it's difficult. In Elder Sign, it's difficult. In, in Arkham Horror Living Card Game, it's difficult. Like, you're regular people fighting these ghouls and demons. Like, you're not going to walk up and just punch them and kill them. Like, you're going to have to hit with a knife and just, ah, you, like, throw it in the hope you happen to land and kill them that way. Uh, so, so, yeah, you, you take damage mentally and physically. It, it's just a part of the game. So... But that's why we need her. Mm -hmm. Right. Because she gives us plus one damage. Mm. So I guess I would have... Man, I would have I would have used this on... Alright, let's take everything back. Because I would have... I would use my Vicious Blow somewhere else. Um, okay. So let's, let's, let's try that. So Vicious Blow. Um, so let's try and attack. Awesome. Actually, I got my plus one. Cool. So... Fuck you, bitch! So that's gonna be two damage onto him. Eh. That works. And then I'll just regularly 
yeah, attack the ghoul minion. Oh, I got my automatic. Um, but there's no skills. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. I still hit hit this one. Okay. So, oh, and then I'm going to attack again. And most likely succeed. Yeah. Um, I still succeed. So it is still dead. Okay. So at least I wounded this one. Three. Now it's your turn. Okay. Mm. Well, I just refresh. So you want to get the hell out of there? That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty good. Okay. I mean, he's gonna win. Uh, Secret so. technique. Shortcut. Oh shit. Fast. Play only during your turn. So does that mean it's free? If it's fast, does that? How does that work? Fast is uh, a player may play a fast card without spending an action. Awesome. So, zip. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Quick, a shortcut. You mean right down the hall? Yes. Go that way. <laughs> I think I know my own house. Right. So, do they like engage with me immediately, or? Oh, so that allowed to move. So it'll go to the location. So let's see here. So how does it read? Fast. Choose a game location. Move the investigator to a connected location. Um. Yeah. Uh, anytime you're not ready to engage with this. Come on. If you choose which of these, some of these prior returns to engage. An enemy will immediately engage if it spawns in a ready state at the same location as an investigator. It moves in a ready state to the same location as. An investigator moves to the same location as a ready enemy, and exhausted enemy is readied at the same location. Um, did that say it came? Spawn the set aside ghoul priest, so maybe maybe spawning. Yeah, it, it just spawns ready, so that's why it immediately engaged. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and that retaliate. Did that make it attack you during your attacking it? Oh yeah, uh, that's fine. I'll play dodge. Um, dodge. When an enemy attacks an investigator, your location cancel that attack. Okay. Cost me a resource, but no action because it's fast. Okay. I so, yep. Thank you for the, kosher. Yep. Thank you for the for the, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're <amazing> playing <laughs> cards, <Darren. laughs> Fucking cheater. I just want to be sure. So, so he's not engaged with me. No. So his since... prey is his highest strength. Okay. So then I'll move up here too. Um. So you went first that round. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now I'm in the parlor. She's a four check intel. Yep, to get us to parlay. She's kind of fucked up, but she's sexy at the same time. Yeah. Um, I want to hold on to that. I got really no good means of buffing my intel. I don't have anything for you either. So we'll just, um, I've got two actions left. We'll just, I'm going to parlay with her. Maybe your card. I didn't realize this bag was ripped. <clears throat> what am I doing? There you go. The zealot. So, this is where does it say parlay? Like, where are you getting that info? It says it as her action. Down at the bottom, in bold, where it says parlay. Are you not seeing it? In bold, parlay. Oh. Here, give me your card. Was that from a... Wrong, it's right here, sorry. Oh! <laughs> I was like, I swear it was in bold! God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah, um... Okay. So, I will now, like, fucking help this <laughs> you crazy bitch! <laughs> well, I'm, like, fending off the fucking... Right, so... Get me out of here! So if I just need a plus one or a zero, but I'll, I can't take any negatives... You can you can try twice. Yeah, yeah. Or you can resign. Yeah, <laughs> just be like, just resign. fuck this! Zero! Yeah! Got it! First try! So, got it. So okay, she like, is really? on our side now. Yep. So, um, when you control the Chandler, she is gets plus one fight and investigate your location successfully attacks that. And okay, awesome. Cool. So now we'll wait for that guy, and then for my last action, I will spend my resource to get a knife. There we go. In my hand. Oh, go my neck. Okay. I just get a second one of these out. Uh, enemies with the hunter keyword move towards the nearest investigator. <laughs> then he comes to me. <laughs> then he uh, then he attacks. 
Um, do they just deal damage? Yeah, I think they just they just deal their amount. Yep, <laughs> they just do that. It's, ouch. That stings. Yep. Huh. With a max health of five, and with enemies dealing two to three, I think I'll pass. Yep, one, two. Oh, two. Sorry. Yeah. Not that. Okay. You're almost crazy. <clears throat> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, so we get a resource, and we draw a card. Cool. And we get a doom <clears throat> on the marker, right? Yep. yep. What did I get? Hey, look at there. So we're at two. Oh well, well now 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 we're in the mythos phase, and now we got to draw a card. Oh fuck me. Can I just oh spawn in the cellar? Okay, thank God. I was like, come on. <laughs> here's your uh, here's that. Your swarm of rats with Hunter, a horde of cruel rats skitters forth in an undulating wave of claws, teeth, and mottled fur. Sexy. So retaliate. Oh, if you fail a skill, hey, if you fail a skill test, fucker, mm -hmm. I then fail a skill test against him. So my dodge is still there. Which I would have spent to not take that damage. Oh, I was just... I mean, you, you've, you've always been rooting against me ever no. since we went to school together. <laughs> You've always just been Rex, jealous of my... Rex Murphy. Okay. Well, let us... So now we get a plus one to fight it. So we get a plus one to our strength as well as to our as damage. As to with our damage. Awesome. That is pretty neat. Hey, should I spend five resources to drop a dynamite? <laughs> it's just an automatic three damage to each enemy in the location. Uh, and then you'll instantly kill Lita. She's not an investigator. But she's still in the location, isn't she? And she has and no points. And deal three damage to each enemy and to each investigator. She's not an investigator. She's an ally. But that's if we just want to take three damage and just get it up to five. And then... I can uh, um, try and fight it. I'm kind of not thrilled with that prospect of taking three damage. Okay, okay. Um, so what? Well, that guy like looks at me once. Okay. Oh, you just have rats? Yeah, like rats. Hey, it'll kill the rats too. It would. It certainly would. Alright, well, give me the fucking bag then. Because like, it's engaged with me again. Okie dokie. But I've got a knife, it's okay. Okay. So. Awesome. Just minus one, which is good, because I still have a four, which means a two damage to it. Three. Okay. And then, let's attack it again. And then, aha! Plus one! Hey. So that's going to be two more damage. Thanks, Lita. And, you ready for this? Let's attack it again. Come on. Not, not auto fail. Uh, minus one, so still gonna be four, two more damage. Uh, one. Okay, I'm just gonna fucking. So what's that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be up to eight. Awesome sauce. It's almost dead. Oh, there's an icy ghoul in there too. Huh? No, it's in the cellar. Mm. Um, but that's what he looks like, by the way. Right, right. That's what's running after me. <laughs> oh, I took a good look at him. A figure in red robes wearing a bone mask. It gibbers and snars before leaping to attack. Him. I, 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 I. All right, that's 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 what I got. Like, that's all well and good, but is it gonna beat my forty-five? <laughs> <laughs> like you, you're awfully frightening, but <laughs> did you bring a gun? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't a, think so. I brought the stick. <laughs> Why? So you okay. brought a stick to a gunfight. <laughs> You're an idiot. That's why you don't rule the world. <laughs> oh, he's got to beat my 45. <laughs> and my handbook. Alright, it's uh... Alright, so turn. I've got rats on my giblets. On <laughs> your so. giblets. So, let's see here. I don't like rats. Rats are scary. It's like fucking Dishonored all of you. Yep, yep. Well, I don't want to spend an action to 
Okay, well, let's say, okay. I have, uh, I, can, I beat it 2 to 1, but it, um... You get a plus 1 to your strength. Oh, yeah, I do. So, so I'm a 3 to 1, so unless I get, like, I don't know, like my odds. I'll do it. I got plus 2 on them. So, all right, we're, I'm stabbing just a horde of rats. I'm like, Aah! What What defines a horde? It it's a says, a, well, a swarm of rats. So. Or a swarm. But it does say horde of cool rats. Right. So that's a minus... Number of ghoul enemies at your location, so minus one. Okay. So minus one, so I still have two. Yep. So I beat them when their health was the little one. Yep. So I stab them to death. Nice. Dead rats. Yeah, they're just more annoying than anything. Okay. Hunter. Yeah, each hunter and every group's one Oh, okay. So what that, what's that guy's uh, check on attack? Four. Four. So with her, I'm at three. Yeah. If I, like, cash in the knife completely, like, and it's like, you know, cut and use it. Like, it, discard it, would, it? Yeah, it would give me plus two strength, and then my attack will deal an additional damage. So, even if you didn't... Ca I, I mean, anything you, else that could... I would... Ca unless you have a skill in your hand that you can just play the bo to boost your, um... So, does this say, like, the fact that it says fight means it's during the fight you action? Get, you no, you get... And that action will allow you to fight. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in one action, I get to fight and cash yes. it in. Okay. Or you can do an action, discard it, then fight, and you get plus two, but it also would deal one more damage. Okay, I just want to see if so I... you can either do it for the plus two, because you're if you succeed, you'll kill it. Right, because but I don't want it. It's engaged with you. I fail. I stab you. I can take the hits. Okay, well, you do have plenty of HP. I do. So it'd be all HP damage. So if right. that theoretically did happen. So yeah, let's do that. So, But it would be... <laughs> just... <laughs> it's like, dick! <laughs> you were always jealous of me. <laughs> Uh, okay. well, Even, have you ever seen that episode of uh, American Dad, where it's like during the uh, hurricane, mm -hmm. and uh, Stan's like yeah, my yeah. old Colin, like that's you, and I just, even he looks over you and is like... <laughs> <laughs> my old college dad. <laughs> um, Love that episode. <laughs> um, let's see here. You harpooned me. I told you to go get help, and you harpooned me. Well, I mean, I'll only be doing the one fight action, so I think I might... I don't know what a tome asset does, but it sounds neat. So does she join one of us as an ally, She, or... I think she does. So um, she's going to take up one of our ally slots. Do you want her? Or do you have your own ally? I think at the end of this, she goes into one of our decks. Oh, cool. So, I mean, I can, I can take Because I have, like, an ally, and I was thinking of calling him in... Yeah. Just because I'm oh, yeah. curious what a tome does. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take her. Um. So I guess I'll do... So I, I, I attacked for one. I'm going to spend two. And I think you can actually deal damage to them. Mm -hmm. Like if he attacks me, I can assign it to her. Just kind of like, no! Oh, nice. So yeah, do that. So I'm going to spend two resources for you. My research librarian. Oh! Yep, and then after research library and enters play, search your deck for a tome asset and add it to your hand. Alright. So I don't know what tomes do, so I guess we'll find out. I guess we would. Uh, it's um, tome. No, I didn't. Item tome, old book of lore, exhaustible old book of lore, choose an investigation location, investigation, search the top three cards of this very deck for a card, draws it, shuffles or any cards of the deck. So when you exhaust the thing, it doesn't come back to your next round. Correct. Yeah, oh, it's at the, at the end of the thing. Do I have any other tomes? Yeah, you'll like There's tap in. Medical texts. Choose an investigator for location and test intel. If succeed, heal one damage from that investigator. If you fail, deal one damage to that investigator. That's, um... Oh, the medical text? Yeah, neither yeah. of us are too, like, taxed right now health-wise. No. see if there's anything for, um... You can heal a ghoul priest. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That'd be pretty neat. <clears throat> to drink supply. So, so, I guess I'll take Old Book of Lore. Alright. Add it to my hand. So I still have to play it. I think we've been drawn really, really well. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I don't want to jinx it and say that we're going to totally fail. Um, but... You think we're due for a, you taking a stab <laughs> to the face? Yeah. I just throw it. 
<laughs> you harpoons. <laughs> like you. Oh my god. Look at that one. Alright, well, was... we're we're doing the, my final action. I am cashing in the knife completely so for a full blown discard it. discarding it. So that I get plus two strength. So I'm now at five. Five strength. Okay. With her buff. And so, and it will deal an additional total three if I don't get a minus two or above. <laughs> Come on, minus one. Minus one or automatic success. Yes! Yes, got him. Stabbed him to death. He I is dead. I threw my sexy knife right into his, right into his throat. Right into his... Rex Murphy, the Acolyte Slayer. All right, so he is dead. Objective, if the ghoul priest is defeated, advance. All right. When the robed creature falls, the fiendish swarm burrows back into the ground and the chaos of the house quiets. But the stranger in your parlor doesn't seem relieved. You broke my seal that was set to trap the ghouls within. She raised her torch. Now we must take more direct measures and burn this hell pit to the ground. The lead, of, the lead investigator must, shoot, must decide. It was never much of a home. Burn it down. Or this hell pit is my home. No way we're burning it. Um, my goodness. Okay, so wait, so we're like, you're in my house, and then suddenly it turns into a tortured maze of nonsense. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming based off of the ghoul priest and some, some spell. Okay. So the I, easiest route does sound like burning it down. It's completely so up to you. I kind of, you know, I, I think Rex Murphy, you know, he's had a lot of bad luck. He doesn't want to lose his house, too. You know, you know, he's still he's still got mortgage payments. <laughs> you know, he's got like two illicit children. Yeah, you get it. You get insurance. Yeah, well, you, <laughs> you, get, you insurance. just know more mortgage payments yeah, if your house is burned down, or if it turns into a demonic <laughs> lair. A demonic hell pit. You want you want to keep your frozen cellar and your bloodied corpse in your ass. It might revert if we reverse everything. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've I've only done this one. Mm -hmm. This and I don't remember. Oh, okay. So even if I did remember. Oh, I'd let you decide. Yeah, what, yeah, okay. Um, mm, mm, this mm. hell pit is my home. This hell pit is my home. Yeah, right. just, I, I kind of want to do that. I want to be indignant. This is my house, goddammit! Alright. So, it's nice, this is where I keep my brandy. So, um, resolution two. Uh, you refuse to follow the overzealous woman's order and kick her out of your home for fear that she will set it ablaze without your permission. Fools! You are making a grave mistake, she warns. You do not understand the threat that lurks below, the grave danger we are all in. Still shaken by the night's events, you decide to hear the woman out. Perhaps she can shed some light on this bizarre event, but she doesn't seem to trust you very much. In your campaign log, which is uh, obviously in my hand, mm -hmm. um, I have a pen somewhere. What the fuck happens to all my pens? Okay. Um... In your campaign log, record that your house is still standing. So, house still standing. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh uh, the, fuck you. the lead investigator earns one experience as he or she refuses to let the night's events uh, destroy his or her life. Mm -hmm. so you're going to get one experience. Each of the. Um, uh, how does worst that go? Do I, get, do I get a token? Do I write it down somewhere? Uh, we'll write it down. Yeah. Um, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Um, each investigator earns two bonus experience as he or she gains insight into the hidden world uh, of the mythos. So, two... Two... Oh. Um, I could have sworn there was... What about the fog? Does it count? No. Um, I thought there was something else that gave us more victory points, but I cannot... Oh, victory... Uh, three, four... Um, yeah, I think that's it. Two... Yep. Four, so we'll each get six, and you'll get seven. Okay. Um... Yep. Uh, I hate you. What? If you had chosen one, she would have joined us. Oh. As an as and go into our deck. But you didn't. I know that. <laughs> I know. I was thinking. Like, I couldn't remember. I knew one of those options gave her to us. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Uh, no. No. So that is. Oh wait. Uh. 
Oh, we, yeah, if we had resigned. Um, okay, so that was actually it. Uh, yeah, they so... just wanted to burn my house down. I was a leather bad bitch. Um, That's my house. Okay, so we did the first scenario. Yeah. Three. So, uh, we're obviously, we're going to do the um, deck building, the experience spending off camera. Uh, but that was the first thing of Arkham Horror the card game. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that camera works well for, <laughs> for you guys enough. Um, but yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to support us, you can go ahead and click that link to go to my Patreon account. If you have any suggestions, you can go ahead and click the link in the show notes below to go to my board game geek, geek list. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.